Hi, welcome to our Scratch tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the when key is pressed block. As you can see, I'm currently in my events scripts tab and underneath that we can see that this is the block that we'll be looking at today. So I'm going to click and drag that out to my scripting area. So when space key is pressed, if I click down onto that little drop down arrow, you can see that there are lots of different events that you can apply. So you can definitely use the space key. You've got the up and arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow, any key, and then all the different alphabets on your keyboard. So how do we use this when key press block? If we go into our tips tutorial section, you can see that this runs a script when a specified key is pressed. And the example that we can see here is that when we've got when M key is pressed, and we've applied a move 10 steps block, this will do exactly that. So when I press the M key on my keyboard, it will actually move 10 steps. So let's go ahead and apply this and see how it may work. For this particular tutorial, I'm gonna apply the when B key is pressed, and I might make my sprite grow bigger by changing its costume size. So I might click and drag the change size by 10. And then I might just click onto this script to see how it works. Oh, I'm clicking onto my B key and see how it's getting bigger. So that's fantastic. How about if I want to do the opposite? So I go back into my events. I might drag this block out again. And instead of the B, I might actually go down and try to look for an S key. So here we go, and I might do the opposite. I might change the size by making it go smaller. So instead of the positive, I'm gonna apply a negative number. Let's click onto this and see if it works. Oh, I'm pressing my S key now, and there you have it. When the S key is pressed, it's changing the size by 10, and when the B key is pressed, it's changing the size by 10. I hope this has helped you to understand how to use the when key pressed block.